Alright guys, for all intents and purposes, we cannot show you the license plate to this car, but 2014 Nissan Versa, and what we gotta do in this guy today is we're actually gonna change out this blower motor. Now, honestly, I've never done this in my entire life, uh, and I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited because these are gonna be on the channel a lot. We're gonna have different cars come in and out. You can bring your car here too, and we can work on it, just saying. Anywho, so this guy is actually the purpose of blowing air into your car. So this one's malfunctioning and not working, so we're gonna take that guy out and we're gonna put this one in. First thing we gotta do is we gotta take the brake and the gas assembly out. So kinda like what we did with my Mustang a little bit, we gotta do here. So I'm kinda versed in this a little bit, so it shouldn't be too hard. After that, we gotta stick our arm up there and get inside, and I'll show you a little bit more later. But first, let's get this guy out. If you can tell, there's gonna be one bolt here, another bolt up here, and then we're gonna have to take all the support. So there's like four support bolts that are in there, and there's like a fifth one right there, and and pull all that out. Also, there's a there's a little oh, I hate this this little clip up here with a bolt that's in there because it's really hard to get out. So just be mindful of that shit. And then the blower motor is actually up a little bit higher. So, but let's get this guy out first. So this is actually the blower motor that I took out, and uh, I didn't have footage of it. Did happen to get some of the footage of uh, comparing the old and the new. So as you can tell, there's a little bit of difference from black to white, but also the fact that that old one is really dusty. So this is actually that brake component that I was telling you that you would have to take out. And there's a gas right there. That guy was a little tricky because it goes a little higher up in there, and you have to pull it off that boot. Now. We're gonna put this guy in this hole up here. That hole right there. Bye bye. Put it back up there. And then put everything back the way you got it. Again, this thing is a son of a bitch to get up there. But once you get it up there, which I did finally, I'm gonna put my four bolts in. I already secured the very bottom one so nothing moves. Because if it moved out of the way, I would. I. I, I yeah. All right, I just wanted to let y'all know that it's been set up. We got uh, the brake and the gas back in there, all good to go. I already accidentally turned this thing on, so I already know that we're good to go. So the whole thing is we couldn't really get any air to blow out, so. Now we have air. It only took about all of these tools and maybe an afternoon, but you know what? It was uh, a little bit more difficult than I thought, but we still got it done, and I'm happy that this person now gets some AC. So your mom's got AC, just letting y'all know. So, another project. And that's how we know it's done, there's no bolts left.